This is Ben Kruger with Old School Manufacturing. Thought we would make a short video here on the radar calibration for your 2023 or newer weed zapper systems. If you have a system that was built prior to 2023, it will use a wheel speed sensor and there is a speed sensor adjustment video that would pertain to the adjustment on your system. If you have a 2023 or newer, this video pertains to you. There's a module located inside the cart. You can find that module in your manual. You can also find it. it'll be right back by the belt adjuster or the belt slack adjuster on the right hand side of the cart. The 2024 models have it mounted externally. The 2023 models have it mounted internally. The 2023 models are eligible for a free upgrade of an external mount. If you choose or if you want to order one of those, please call the parts department at 660-851-8800. It gets the radar a little farther off the crop. Seems like we have a little less um, back feed from the crop causing us shutdowns. So we'll go ahead and go into the adjustment portion of it. As you can see, the system is asking for a wing switch test. That is now satisfied. We will go ahead and advance to the next screen. This is our diagnostic screen of our monitor. Take note of the button up here at the top. If you have a diagnostic issue, I will need to have that button pressed so the numbers display and then send me a photo of it. We'll advance to the next screen. Over on the right hand side, you see radar. I will select radar. Okay, this takes us into our radar speed sensor screen. But basically what we're wanting to take note of is the bottom left hand corner where you see the calibrate radar. Notice just above that we have a multi one. That is our speed multiplier. It's set at a 1.00. That's where that would be set at from the factory. That's where we would set it at. If you find that you're getting shutdowns or that your weed zapper is reading too slow, and you're getting low speed shutdowns, then you can calibrate radar. So you notice here it says to make sure that the rear of your cart is slightly higher than the front of your cart. We want to make sure that when we're doing these tests, there's two things that are extremely important. Number one, don't be moving. Sit still. Please put the tractor in park and do not move. Number two, this is often overlooked. If you are doing the calibrate radar, which is a motion or vibration test, make sure that you are doing that over an area that has bare dirt, gravel driveway, something that does not have the ability to blow or move with the wind that the pulley system will create. Once again, make sure you're on bare dirt or a hard surface if you're going to do the calibrate radar, which is looking for movement. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the calibrate speed portion first because that is the primary one that you will do as an operator. So we will calibrate speed. You notice that it's set at 0 .40 right now. I have the ability to advance that up by hitting the plus button. There's our 1.0 that we were set at. But for example purposes, I'm going to take it up to 1.5. This would make it read a little faster than it was before. The lower this number is, the slower it will read. The higher this number is, the faster it will read. So we're going to go with 1.5. When I exit this, it will take me back to my run screen. So now I would be seeing a faster speed and I would be ready to go back and zap again. If I want to check those numbers, and I would advance to the radar again. And now you see on our multi one, we have a 1.50 number. So the second thing I want to mention to you on the radar is the magnitude. This is where we're actually looking for motion when we're sitting still. So if you have a bent PTO shaft that causes a wobble, if you have your PTO shaft at a bad angle that causes vibration, it can make these numbers move. What we would like to see is a magnitude of 50 or less. So where we have this starting magnitude, we want to see 50 or less. 
25 is where we preset them from the factory. If there's excess vibration, then you're going to see that number go up. So to adjust this number, we will go into Calibrate Radar. And we're going to Calibrate Radar again on the left-hand side. Do notice that we want to see the cart at about 5 inches nose forward. Once again, clean or bare ground to do this portion of the test with the tractor setting in park. You cannot do this while you're driving through the field. It will not work. If you notice that you're getting excess vibration, you can try leveling the cart a little bit, but likely you have had the tractor three-point settle and put a bend in the shaft, the PTO shaft. We'll hit Calibrate Radar. Okay, so now we see that it's asking for 950 PTO RPM. So if I was in a tractor right now, I would turn my PTO on and I would take that up until this re number reads about 950 RPM. Once it would read that, I would hit Start Calibration. Right now, it's looking for that PTO RPM increase. Once again, I'm sitting still. I've got my card at a good angle, and I'm just waiting for this to read 950. I'm accelerating my tractor to get that up to 950. Once I achieve 950, it's going to ask for 1,000. Same exact test, sit still, 1,000. The next it's going to ask for is 1,050. It will take a triangulation of these three numbers, and that will give us a new vibration set point, or a new motion set point. Once you're done, it'll automatically save it. You would exit it and go back to the diagnostic screen or the radar screen. We'll select it again. Of course, we didn't actually do the test, but if, if we had bad numbers over here, we would get good numbers with the new test. Once we exit this screen, we can go back to our home screen again, and we'll be able to go ahead and zap some weeds. I hope this helps. Thank you, and have a blessed day.